So welcome everyone. We're just about to get started here. I'm just getting my screen in order. So just bear with me here so I can get all my ducks in a row. Well, folks, we want to thank you for joining us this, uh, this evening. And for all Canadians, happy Victoria Day. And we certainly appreciate you taking the time to join us this evening. And as many of you are aware, Tammy and I just came back from an amazing tour in West Africa and East Africa. We were in Ghana for about five days. And on the sixth day, as a matter of fact, we, uh, we transcended over to Kenya in East Africa. And we had an absolute blast. I know that many of you are fo follow the actual event online. And this is what's so amazing with this new technology that was uh, driven from the uh, pandemic way of doing business. So now everything is virtual. And that was a lot of fun. We just absolutely enjoyed it. And it's very, very cost effective. It's amazing uh, the luxury and the comfort that we have for very little money invested um, you know, to, uh, to be able to stay there and build a business. And it's amazing, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, how much you can accomplish. Every time we, we spoke to someone, the interest was there. You know, the guy that we met when we got our money exchange was interested. And uh, the, the, the gym, um, one of the gym um, uh, hosts there. Um, yeah, a personal trainer at the Personal gym. trainer, thank you. Where does it want to come out? Uh, was actually signed up. And Tammy built some relationship uh, online with some associates and I um, should say some prospects that end up being associates. So it's, it's really a lot of fun. And as a matter of fact, this evening, we want to talk about how to support an, an international team starting with some of the activities that we do. Tammy and I have been doing these kind of activities for so long. And when we started thinking, okay, what should we talk about on Monday? Why don't we talk about how to support an international team? Because I know, I know that many of you are starting to recruit internationally. And I think that the insight I'm gonna share with you could be quite insightful for you. Go ahead, Tammy. Yeah, and I find the boards is so effective when it comes to building this international uh, organization. It's, it's made such a huge difference for, for me personally. I'm seeing a lot of stuff really fast. Uh, how many are using the platform and getting fast results and people responding fast? Well it's, it's great. I, I love it. It doesn't matter if it's local or global. It's all there. So it's going to be a lot easier for not only yourself, but as you bring prospects um, into the picture, as you bring associates into the picture, the moment you get them trained, for example, um, we train two people when we were there and we weren't there very long. We had the first couple of days was a setup, the event happened. Then we had the, I think it was the next day. And then the following day in the evening, we, we left. I wish we had, would have had a lot more time there, but the, the one gentleman that we trained, by the time we got home, he had already signed up two people and he's already using the boards and doing the prospecting from the board. So if, if we all focus on using that platform and really training people, which we're going to talk about tonight, you're going to build it a whole lot quicker in the global market. Gosh, I wish we would have had that so many years ago. <laughs> yeah. And as a matter of fact, I mean, one of the reasons we had to come back uh, sooner than later is because we, um, we can't overstay our, our stay in the United States. So as many of you have been here since um, beginning of January, in fact, just the end of December, and uh, the countdown basically ends. Uh, we like to have an extra month. We don't want to be here for, you know, 160 days because we never know. We may have to come back for things and say, oh, you can't come through the U.S. And next thing you know, we can't travel. So always keep our, ourselves about 30 days spread. So uh, it's about five months. And that's going to be uh, on the 31st of this month. And we're returning back to Toronto. And, um, and what we want to do right now, talk about three, four different components. Uh, the training is, one is how to prepare for before attending an international market. Two is the communication, staying in touch. This is very important. You know, there's a difference between you having your own group and your own, your own kind of environment, or I'd like to call it your own ecosystem within your, your associates. And of course, the tools in, and where everything is, this is very, very important. And also the enrollment process, right? Now, I know that many of you are obviously quite aware of all of these things, but this is also a recorded call for the international market um, as, uh, you know, they, they wake up in the morning, 
and uh, so we can continue uh, support the entire the entire world. So, uh, Tammy, why don't we talk a little bit about how to prepare before attending an international market? Since you've done a lot of really wonderful work that was resulted in sponsoring people, people you never met, you never knew. And you started with making connection, building the relationship, uh, you know, initiating the process of uh, the information with Max International and, and kind of build uh, the credibility around the event, which is very important. And that's the thing that Tommy and I do is we always, always build around events. We don't just go there, parachute in one spot and start from zero. Uh, it, it, there has to be something around that is a magnet to attract people, to give them a reason to come and see us. So, uh, Tammy, why don't you share your experience? And I think that will cover a lot of how to prepare before attending an international uh, market. Yeah, well, like Chris says, I, I, I plan sooner than later. Uh, the key in any market in, uh, in building an organization is relationships. You know, we talk about this business. It's not about the product. It's not about the, the business. It's about people at first. It's always people first, because if they feel like they, they know you, like you trust you, then they'll want to go further and learn more about it. So I think a lot of you already have this. It's just a matter of getting out there and connecting with people and letting them know that our company's coming into their market, bringing opportunity uh, to people just like you. And, and you, you kind of throw things in there to create um create for them to want to know what you're up to. Always creating curiosity. That's something that I'm pretty good at. And, uh, and, and I, everybody who knows me really well, especially the 15 minute accountability group that we've been working together for several months, uh, every single day is, I, I talk about that a lot, is the relationships and how I pull people off the platform. Each one of us has our own gift on how we're connecting through the social media platform. And um, mine is, is to just literally be bold and pull them off. Get, get over to, like for Facebook, go into Messenger. Um, Instagram, uh, you know, I put a lot of stuff out on Instagram, uh, but I haven't got a lot of big stuff through the Instagram platform. Um, LinkedIn, yes. So LinkedIn and Facebook are really the ones that I've been able to pull people off the platform, have conversations with them, which leads into a Zoom session. Chris, we, we did that Zoom session with you, uh, with that lady from uh, LinkedIn, you remember Helen, mm -hmm. uh, the banker, the banker. It was interesting because we're just chatting back and forth. And she says, it's so interesting that you're connecting to me that at this point in my life, because I'm going into retirement in two years from now from the banking industry, and I'm looking for something. And so we just totally connect, uh, clicked. And her sister and her uh, cousin showed up at the event. She couldn't because she, she lived seven hours away. Um, and now they're all coming aboard. So it, it's a lot of fun, you know, it, it's again, you know, I can't stress the, enough the importance of building a relationship. Don't wait last minute. We all know that Mexico is coming. I don't know if any of you are tapping into Mexico, but that's- Yeah, I want to touch on that. That's another massive market. So um, tap into some markets, into the culture. Uh, I just go in and click on Kenya or doctors in Kenya or- or you can go fitness in Kenya, you can do whatever you want and just start becoming friends with people and send messages to build relationships with them. So that's been very successful. And again, so you don't want to wait last minute. I, I totally agree, Tammy. And, and the process here, uh, talking about Mexico, and I know, uh, Jasmine, you're, you're, you're going back and forth there. And uh, please be careful as you're driving, pay attention to the road. Okay, <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Um, one of the things is, in my case, uh, you know, I have a Rolodex on my cell phone, matter of speaking, uh, of thousands and thousands of contacts. And I've been, uh, I had experience with uh, building Mexico in the past. So in my case, I'm just waking up uh, some old contacts that I've been dealing, doing business with for, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, in some cases. And what I do is I just call them up and I don't talk about the business right away. I simply 
trying to make a connection for kind of where we left off and how things are going, how life are today. So I really focus on the relationship. And some of those people we had, um, you know, we had some rough times and not between us. I'm just saying, you know, dealing with the business, dealing with the economy, dealing with, you know, challenges that we're dealing today. It's a, it's kind of like a merry-go-round, you know, the world is like that. It just keeps cycling back and forth. We think it's new. It's not new. It's just the way the world works. It just rotates. And uh, long story short is um, there's, there's, there's a lot of history. And one of the things is I was very supportive to his family, to him uh, when, when he had a very hard time. Long story short, he never forgot that. So that's the conversation that went through. Uh, and from there, we jumped into a conference call. The very first thing that I did is I, as you know, I like to build my business with third party credibility. I did this in Africa with Ghana way, way, way back nine years ago. I did it, you know, it's, it's always just the way I work. And I invited uh, Jim Stravelia and I invited Joe Wojtecki to have a, a discussion with this gentleman. And the reason is he's, he's a well, he's a big fish. Um, and of course, he's already involved in a different, different, different network marketing company. And I respect 100%. But the fact is that our relationship is very strong. And, and this is why Tammy and I really, really reinforce the, 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 the importance of focusing on the relationship. Don't worry so much about the business. The business will come. And, and that's what we did. And as a matter of fact, uh, there was a lot of um, you know, words that were shared that uh, led to, um, to, to get into another conference call with some of the people that, uh, that he knows because he's very well connected that might be interested in, in what we do. And you know what I mean? So in other words, we prepare, we, we don't go into a market and start building while we're there. You know, there was a, a segment with the Eric Worry segment today on the uh, accelerator where Eric every month he does what we call the hot seat question and answers. And uh, this lady asked, listen, if I parachute and I go right into this market and uh, she's, she was in England and UK and she's talking about going to the United States, he says, how do I start? That was a question to Eric. And Eric basically answered exactly pretty much generally what we're saying is that uh, tell everybody that you're going there. And you saw us before we went to Kenya. We had some, some flyers going around. We promoted that we're going there. We're creating some noise around it. Uh, we make some connections online through social media. Um, and people can check our pages. They see the promotions that are there. Um, they can see the history of what's been going on in our lives and in the business. Do you understand what happens is that your social media platform is your billboard. So that's why when you post on a daily basis or weekly basis or whatever, I think monthly basis is way too long, but especially in this world today, everything is done like multiple times a day. I have a hard time with that. I know Tammy does a much better job than I do, but at least on a daily basis, I post something. But over time, what's happening is there's trails and there's evidence that what we're saying is true. So it, it, it's, this is kind of how we build a rapport with a stranger online through social media by going back to our profile on either Instagram or Facebook. These are the main two. Uh, I use TikTok. I have to admit I should spend more time on it, but it's, it's actually growing. And that's another avenue that is very important. So these are all the avenues to, to, to prospect. And one thing that's important as you share your videos and, and, and your content, make sure that there's always some kind of a call to action, something that will lead them to either uh, connect with you or uh, get more information or PM you, whatever the situation, make sure there's a call to action. Don't just do a video and, and nothing because you never know one of your video could actually go viral. Right. Tammy went, had a couple of them that went viral, you know, the push up videos. <laughs> That's a, I figured no, who cares, right? Who's good? And it's going rival. You went rival. I mean, you know, and what happens is that if you get into a habit of always sharing some trails for people to connect with you when it goes viral, of course, you, the chances are you're going to get some interesting leads that may come your way. So this is kind of how we prepare. I mean, there's so much more to it than that. But the fact is, let people know, call people in your downline, ask people in your organization, do you know anyone in these markets? Because we're about to go there. And it's amazing what could come out. But if you don't ask, you don't get. So even this is how. Going, go ahead, Tammy. If, yeah, even if you're not going immediately, don't worry about it because you might be sitting here going, well, yeah, it's great for them because they're going. But, you know, I'm, I don't plan on parachuting in right away. But still say we because you are max. We are max, right? So you say we are going into 
Mexico, we are going into, uh, we just launched into Kenya. We're super excited because once you create the interest and they look at the information, from there, you set up a Zoom session and you invite Chris and I in. We've been there. We, we're excited. We're, we, we know what's going on in the market and we can't wait to get back there. And I know that when we go, we need to go for a period of time. We even talked about buying a, a, an apartment there. So we're, we're excited on what's going on uh, in, in, uh, in Kenya. And of course, Mexico is going to be another big baby. I yeah, see Mexico, you smiling, Marie Paul. Yeah, exactly. Mexico, I mean, it's part of North America. It's, it's, it's at your doorstep, right? So it's not a really expensive flight, like going overseas. Um, and uh, I, I would, I mean, you know, it's, it, it could be something that you may want to consider. Uh, but again, I don't recommend you just go to Mexico. And I don't know if you remember, my Paul, years and years ago when our old, oh, yes. old leader, for, you know, yeah, just go there. No, no, that, that is the worst possible situation you can do is you want to prepare. You want to to kind of lead the way and, and do some work prior to when you get there. And when you get there, the people you will meet will lead you to more people. And it's amazing how this can unfold. So this is how you prepare is, and again, the, if you want more details on that, I mean, Tammy and I do this very often. It's kind of what we've been doing for many, many, in fact, decades. Um, and, and it works. It really does. And okay, even build and local, as we always train, build local. Think that's right. local, but build local. And start looking for some local uh, community stuff in, in this uh, country, because it's, it's everywhere. It doesn't matter yes. whether you're in the U.S. or Canada or wherever you are, there's always pockets of communities of these international markets. Get in there. I know Erica, she's been going into certain groups and, and attracting people into the Hispanic markets uh, through Canada, and she's getting results. So uh, I think that Every single one of us should be doing that and tapping into these um, groups and markets uh, through our local markets. And don't forget, Canada is an international market. The, Amer the United States is an international market. I mean, Every what, what form you know, the American people and the Canadian people, I mean, it's, 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 just look at your roots. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable how we all came together and, you know, we somewhere we're connected to someone around the world. So it's really interesting. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> now, the next thing that's important is, is communication, right? Once you're there and you start having an organization that you're physically there or not. Um, now it is recommended for you to go physically. If you start to get some good presence and you start getting some good volume, uh, this is an investment that is worth, you know, of course, if your health permits for you to go internationally, uh, these are things that we certainly recommend as Tammy and I've recommended to many associates and the associates who did have done well uh, in bringing some good business with them. Uh, but then the next thing is the communication, right? We touch on WhatsApp, we touch on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter. These are the main social media environments. Um, and, and there's others, but what's really important, the point I want to talk about the communication is don't just rely on your upline to feed everybody. I recommend you're part of the group, right? You don't want to create division. If you create division, you isolate yourself and you'll st you won't grow. You want, to, you want to expand and you want to stay connected. You don't want to divide. Division is the worst possible thing in our business. As I said, often there's prosperity and unity. So stay united. But in saying that, you should also have your own WhatsApp group with your own people so you can pass on the information and not relying on Tammy or I or whatever group you might be part of to, to be fed the information for your downline to be fed the information. Because at the end of the day, you want your leaders, your associates to see information coming from you. Very important because they will identify your leadership with it. Go ahead, Tammy. Yeah, that's part of the, the relationship process. You want to build relationships with the people that you're bringing in. Yeah. I, I totally agree. So mm -hmm. this is something, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the communication tools because I know that I'm speaking to the choir. Many of you, and by the way, if you happen to be on Facebook Live, thank you for joining in. I appreciate you. Did not forget about you. I'm watching and I appreciate your comments and feedback always. Uh, so the fact here is... Um, 
uh, make sure that you have a good communication system in place. Now, the next thing we want to get into is tools. Now, this is not a long call. It's just, and I know a lot of these things are common sense to all of you, but this really works. I mean, that's how Tammy and I hit the crown diamond and we've, maintained, we've been maintaining a very good income with Max International because we have all these things in place, right? But the thing is, we also want you to be able to create your own, your own posture utilizing the tools. Now, the thing is, I want you to also be very mindful. Uh, I know that Tammy and I created this board, right? And you're welcome to create your own. But if you do, uh, you're dividing again, right? So you're dividing your team and you're pulling your team away from the source. And so, again, you want to be mindful of all of that. So it's okay for you to do things in parallel, but make sure you stay plugged in. Make sure your team is aware that the team is much, much bigger than maybe the environment that you're exposed to on a daily basis. Sometimes it helps motivating, uh, it helps people engage, right? So the one thing we recommend is the board. I know that all of you here on this, on this session are aware of the board. You, I, I know you're, you're, you've seen it and you've, you've seen many trainings, but many of you may not be aware that are listening in. So I'm gonna do this very, very quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and share my cell phone to make sure that you know how to access the board. Okay, for your own benefit. Okay, here we go. Phone is right here. So from there, what I recommend you do is you go to the active team website. Okay. So as you are going to the website. Okay, notice, by the way, there's three bars over here. Now in these three bars, you'll notice there's a resource another resource you notice that there is a document section here. And this is very important because let's say you want to do a presentation for someone you met in Kenya. You don't want to just rely on Chris and Tammy to help you. You want to become to do your own presentation to, 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 to present your own presentation. So you would go under documents, for example, and it will take you to the, uh, to the Dropbox subdirectory. And then from there, you would select, in this case, for example, Africa. You'll notice, uh, okay, there's French here. There's all the different countries that we're supporting with the documents. And also you have English here and you would select the Kenya, okay? Under Kenya, you notice here, we have the BON playlist. These are some of the music that are being used and videos that are being displayed while we're waiting for people to, uh, to attend. Um, and then we have the Kenya presentations over here, okay? And then from there, you can, uh, you'll notice that you have, uh, the, the documentation so you can actually learn the script, okay? So that way you got each page and each script. And if you don't, if you're not used to the presentation, I really recommend that you read the script till you blew in the face, right? So you can recite it like verbatim. And then after that, start using your own words because trust me, people, they, they don't want to listen to a script. They want to listen to you. But the script will give you a certain guideline and a certain level of professionalism to keep you in the context of the slide so you don't become like an omelet, mix everything up in all slides, talk about everything from slide number one. You talk about things that are slide 20, on slide 24. You know, it keeps you structured and organized in your presentation format and it also makes you, uh, uh, makes you relevant. But at the same time, you don't make things up. And I know all of you here are very diligent about this, but I just want to make sure that everybody is aware you don't want to make things up when it comes to our science or technology or products or testimonies. It is absolutely critical that you follow the guidelines uh, to protect the integrity of the company. So that's why we recommend the document. And of course, here you have the presentation. And what I really enjoy is um, you, you can see I've downloaded this before and I was on the, the opportunity, but it does, it's the same presentation for all markets. And the, the only difference here is you will see things in a different currency based on, for example, Kenya. I'm just using Kenya right now as an example because it's a new market. Everybody's kind of hot for Kenya right now. And the so, currency is shillings. When you see K-E-S, the currency is shillings. That is correct. Okay. Now, to go back to the reason why I brought this Chris, in. Chris, I, I just wanted to reference there's a, the one-on-one -on -one sheet that's now ready that was recently added. Uh, if you can, go, I guess you've already gone. You want by. me to go back? Okay, one yeah. moment. Yeah. Okay, resource, documents. Where do you want me to go? I found that today. So if you go into the Kenya folder again, Chris. English and the Kenya folder. Uh-huh. Yeah, you'll notice in the, under presentation. Okay. 
And I highly recommend wow. to go through stuff because there's always new stuff added as things are being created. You it's, it's being added. Okay. So this is new. All right. So it's perfect to do a one-on-one -on -one presentation uh, with, with somebody. If you don't want to go through the full presentation, let's say they've already been to um, an, a, a, a zoom opportunity meeting and you're doing a zoom session with them just to follow up. Well, you don't need to go through that whole process again. You can pull this up um, and, and walk through the, the steps on how they can get started as well. So it depends on how far they are in the, in their evaluation process. So I just took the time to post it uh, into the Canada USA group. So you can access it there. Um, so uh, let me go back down uh, for the viewers here. And again, if you don't have the board, you don't want to mess with that. The board is so powerful. Um, you can actually uh, click the button here. You would put your email. When you put your email, you click join. Now, if you have the board installed in your phone, wonderful. You just open the board. The, 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 the documents will be there and then you'll, you'll be able to select the actual active team group board and then you have access to all the data. If you don't have it installed, what's going to happen is you're probably going to go to download the app from either Google Play or the Apple Store. Once you have actually the app downloaded, the first thing it's going to ask you is create an account. You're going to put your email, you're going to put a password and it's done. And it's going to ask you, uh, what's your type of business? I usually, I just say put Max International and it says, um, are you, and then the order may vary a little bit, but uh, do you, are you part of a team or you have a team? I, we say part of a team if you're starting. Uh, and it says, how many people in your team? Just say one to 10, up to more, just select one to 10 if, you, if, if you're just getting started. Once you've done that, then at this point, the board will be up and running, okay? Uh, let's see if I have it here somewhere. One second, board, here we go, right here, board. Okay, so from there, you can see, uh, you'll see the active team, and then we have the French, the English, and the Spanish, okay? And all languages are constantly maintained. As we keep adding to the English, the French also gets uh, reflected with, with the proper language. And I want to remind everybody that if you get someone started, regardless of where they are in the world, you want the onboarding process, and you want to go through the first step, and go through the process of the first step information, first information details over here, welcome message and so forth. And then the next thing uh, is again, the second step, which are the daily method of operations, the things that we recommend people to do. If you do just these simple things to everybody, not everybody has this, this, um, this self drive, but many people do. If you give them the right tools and you point them to the right direction, some people you don't have to grab them by the hand and walk one step with them. They'll just go and run without you, right? They just know how to play the piano. They just, some people have, are like that. So if, if you take into a habit of constantly educating your team with the proper information, uh, you, you'll be surprised on how far, how much you can achieve. So obviously you've seen this many times. So I'll just stop the share at this point and go and back and to if our- you're, If you've signed up people who have never had experience in the industry, I highly recommend to take them by the hand, uh, step by step, and walk them through the process on the onboarding section. Yes, okay? I agree. And, and it, it's important. At the same time, guess what? You're building a stronger relationship. They know that you're going to be there for them. And because uh, I, I find um, the, the couple of brand new people that I'm uh, putting through the process, you know, one is a little bit more. Uh, hands on the other one's a little bit less hands on and that's normal you're always going to deal with that when you bring people into the business so um, keep that in mind not just to hey go check out the boards hey go on the or onboarding and, and go through all the the documents I mean if somebody's never done this before they're going to be lost right yeah, so and, step yeah, step. and if someone says you know hey you know it's overwhelming there's too much data and stuff well you know is that what you do when you open a dictionary there's too many words no there's an index in there right the board is the same right you just go through the index and sometimes and Tammy's absolutely correct someone may be a little overwhelmed if they have no idea some people that will just go through it and eat that right up and some folks are going to be overwhelmed so you just have to feel them out and and walk them through the process and and understanding onboarding 
That's step one. And then first step, that's the very first step. Go through that because it, it talks about the core rank. So the more information that you educate your new people on what they need to do, um, it, it becomes easier to absorb the process of the activities to be able to achieve those ranks. And those of you that are duplicating that will go further. So we're talking from experience. And that's one of the reasons why we've had a lot of experience building internationally, because we're not shy in sharing the information, right? We just walk people through it. And once it's done and it, it, they, they, they got hit with all the info, I'm not, I'm not saying that you need to send all the info. I'm just saying that point them in the right direction so they can start clicking and learning and evolving and, and start listening to the information. And the other thing that's also very important um, as another tool is the active team training. I always need my glasses to type everything now. Sorry. <laughs> active team training.com. Okay. So when you go to active team training.com, so let me just share that screen. Cause I want to point you in the right direction because there's so much going on right now. Um, okay. So when you go to active team training.com, uh, by the way, can you see my screen right now? Can you see the screen? Okay, good. Um, so what's important here is you, you got to look at through the playlist. Okay. Now you probably noticed that we've put the, uh, the video that, uh, that Joe did on uh, why Max is, uh, is not a, a pyramid scheme, right? Uh, it's, it's brilliant. Joe did such an amazing job on that. And I've asked Larry to make the video available. So if you go to the Max blog, uh, blog.max.com, you can download the video if you want and put it in your own environment so you can share it. This is entirely up to you. It's available here. But you'll notice on the playlist that there's so many different in different things that you can click on, different titles that you click on, on all sorts of different uh, contexts. I mean, you can see here, we could go on and on and on here, and there's a lot of information, okay? So this is becoming a library, and it's accumulating, and it will keep growing. So this is the activeteamtraining.com, which the active team website and the blog, excuse me, and the, 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 the board actually points to. All the information that all our, our front end tools like the, the website and uh, that you use either your phone or the computer or the board, it all gets the data from here. Okay, it's all coming from here. So I just wanted to point that out as, uh, as we are uh, sharing, um, you know, some of the details that we do to support how do we support an international market. So do you want to walk them also through the how to sign somebody up in Kenya for those who are um, talking to people. Sure. That's a great idea. Okay. Because okay. we can break up these segments also. Uh, Marcel tends to take the content and breaks them up into segments to have them available on the board. So it helps everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, if you, if you watch that video over here uh, that I did for the Ghana team, you, you will see the details. You can scroll. Remember, you don't have to listen to the whole thing. You can scroll to wherever you want to index it in the video to see what the, the content you want to see. But let me just share on my phone where to find all that. Uh, let me bring it back here. It just takes us a few seconds. Here we are. Okay, so let's go back to the board. And uh, what I, if you go on the bottom right on their Kenya launch, and in fact, what I'm sharing with you, it's exactly what Tammy and I did because we, we looked at each other and after the event says, how do we enroll someone in Kenya, right? We well, can't just- Initially, uh, when we were enrolling people up before Ke the Kenya office launched, we had to sign everybody up in another international market. So for example, for myself, anybody from Uganda, Kenya, uh, Zanzibar, I signed them up in Ghana. So they would have to switch um, Ghana accounts over to Kenya. And so at the time, this, this is what we did. So now you can actually sign your prospect up in uh, Kenya. Okay, so we're, we're gonna walk you through the process and, and how to do everything. Well, let me go back to the website then. Yes, let's start. And, yeah, and then from there, let me just go to max.com, okay? And from there, as you can see here, we have Kenya selected. It's just the last time, last place we went in. And, uh, and then from there, you would just simply uh, join, okay? Now, I'm not going to log into my back office and everything else, as you see, for obvious reasons. But um, you would select join as an associate, 
Okay, just like you would do when you sign up somebody. And then because we selected Kenya, the package here available with the shilling currency, right? So this is in a range of $140, $130, $120. And uh, this is $15,999, okay? And this is the package that we like. So you would just do the same thing. Uh, you would select this package over here. And let's say that we want to check out, okay? Then we check out. We want to sign up as an associate. Just like before, you fill in the information over here. Billing information, obviously, you know, you would select cash in this case. Cash. Yeah. Okay. And again, you select your agree to the terms and everything else. Um, and then you I see you here, Chris, go up, scroll up a bit. I highly recommend um, when you give somebody the website, you always give them max.com forward slash and oh, yeah. your ID number. Because mm -hmm. uh, your, your ID number will automatically show when you send them to your max.com slash ID number. So yeah. here you just put the ID number and you would just go further and uh, scroll down to the bottom and you can see the, the section here. So the moment you continue, go to the bottom, Chris, and it, review order. The but obviously I didn't that, fill up the, the stuff then. Yeah, there's no information filled out, but when you review the order, mm -hmm. then you're going to um, set up uh, a will call. And that is to pick up the product at the office. And if, now, if it's a shipping company picking up the product at the office, it's still a will call. Um, and, and you would have another process for the shipping company to pick up the product from the office and deliver it to them. And that's part of the boards. You can so this is just, so, just to make sure there's clarity here. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is you're signing, a map, signing them up on the website with a package to get an ID. Mm -hmm. you, there's no payment being done here. Okay. So you're going to get an ID, but you have and then to they select, select a package. Something. And even if, when they go to the office, they can change the package. If they have a change of heart, there's no problem there. They're not stuck with this package. Uh, they can fix everything in the office. It's just that you need to go through the process. So the company has the information of that person into the system. That's step one to get an ID. Okay. Now, step two, I'm going to shift over to my cell phone so you can look at the data that is available from the board. Okay. So I was here earlier. So again, just to step back here to kind of go through my steps is I selected a Kenya launch. From the Kenya launch, I selected Kenya order and payment details. And there's different, uh, different options here you can select from. So I'll go right into the Kenya how order and pay, how to order and pay. So you click here and what's very important and they're very diligent in the office where what you will do is you wanna make sure that you are creating uh, an account on, let me rephrase that. Well, yeah, you're creating uh, a contact with uh, the Kenya office with the email and their, uh, what, uh, their WhatsApp number. This is the best way to communicate with them. And from there, remember earlier I mentioned you need a max ID. Well, this is where you need, this is why you need the ID. So that's where you go through the virtual aspect of the, the process of enrollment. But when the money is transferred, it's over here. So you're going to do, you're going to WhatsApp them the ID, the name of the person, obviously the address that was specified that matches the account to the ID. And then you pay by M-Pesa. And it's, it's really amazing how simple it is. And this is the number that associated with the M-Pesa, okay? And then from there, they would just turn around and do a payment uh, on this account over here. Max receives it, and all they need to do is go to the office and pick their products. And this is exactly what we did with uh, John, one of the uh, gentlemen that signed up, who is the professional trainer that we met uh, where we stayed in, um, in, uh, in Kenya. Anything else you want to add, Tammy? Yeah, so everybody has M-Pesa there. Okay, so it's, it's an easy process for everybody to go through. And I just, I let them do their own sign up when we were right there. Instead of me doing it and having them watch, I had them do it and I walked them through the process. So it was great when you're in flight coming home and they're already signing people up because they know how to do it. Uh, so that's as simple as it is, you guys. 
And, um, you know, we got some great new markets coming up. And as we always say, uh, you, you, you're in a global business, so you can build local, think of all the global people that you can connect to, go online, build relationships. Not everybody connects with me, just so you know, and that doesn't matter for me. I'm only interested in connecting for, with people who want to connect with me in these international markets. And then of course, I send them information to have a look at, and then I follow up with a Zoom session when I'm not oh. in the market. And then we build, we continually build relationships until they make a decision to get in. So. So as Demi was sharing here, I was kind of pointing out the certain things. This is basically the courier details. For if we do do this on your own, um, again, here's an email order template uh, with the shipping. I mean, the, the thing is, you know, I, I can appreciate the first time might be a little bit uh, intimidating because you want to make sure that whatever you do is going to happen. I can tell you that it will. But that's the reason why you can communicate with someone through the WhatsApp there, WhatsApp contact and get some information. Uh, if someone is not in Kenya and they happen to be in Rwanda or Uganda and different, uh, different markets around, there's an eco bank. And uh, I don't know where the thing, it used to be right here, Tammy. I don't know where they put it, uh, the EcoBank details. We'll make sure it's, it's around here again. It used to be right there. But um, in this case, they, they would pay to the EcoBank account because EcoBank is pretty much all over the continent of Africa. And almost every country has it. And the deposit will be done to this EcoBank account. Max will recognize it. And then you can organize shippings or people, you know, again, the people that are living in these markets know exactly what they're doing. I'm just telling you this for your information. I know there were some like people like Kelly Ronson. She's building in Uganda and Rwanda and different parts of the, uh, the East Africa. And she was asking, and it's just, is exactly how this works. Okay. And you can always communicate with the office to the WhatsApp number to get some clarity on certain things. So don't be shy to ask questions. Uh, you don't certainly need to wait for Tammy and I, you can just go right through and, 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 and ask the questions. So and, and this you know, the, the customer service, the ambassadors, they're very, very well trained. I like to deal directly with uh, WhatsApp. I don't email. I WhatsApp them. They, they respond quite fast. Obviously, they're working in their working hours, right? So I have to connect with them through their working hours. But one of the girls, her name is Wambui, and she's really good. W-A-M-B-U-I, Wambui. Yeah. So, I mean, this is it, guys. This is all there is to it. We don't have to keep adding and sugarcoat more information than that, because if you're handling what we share with you, you're all set. And also, um, I wanted to mention to you, Alice, that uh, I'm doing a training uh, in English for the uh, people living in, for the associates in Cameroon tomorrow. And this is at uh, three o'clock Eastern time on activeteamwebinar.com. Okay, so it's going to be how to do an, how to do an effective presentation. So I'm going to walk him through the same thing. I'm going to walk them to the board. I'm going to show them where they can access the information, where they can download the data. And I believe Lucy is going to be doing one in French. I don't know exactly the time and, and, uh, and date that's going to take place, but um, it'll be promoted into a, a Cameroon. Now, you don't need to know any of this if you don't have any, anything there. Oh, no, sorry. You know, Alice, it's Congo. You're, you're in Congo. I'm sorry. I got confused for a second. Okay. Oh, by the way, I will be doing Cameroon a training for... For yeah. Congo uh, in French with the uh, the team with Miriam, you know, the lead I connected you to. So I'll be doing a training with them either Friday morning or it, it just materialized this morning. So they want to do a, a new associate orientation. So I wanted to let you know. Okay. Um, so guys, this is it. We walk you through the enrollment process. So everything that we had the agenda today has been communicated. Uh, Tammy, is there something else you'd like to add or is there any comments or questions uh, among the team? Yeah, let's just open it up to comments or questions. What's the due date for Mexico? I don't know. <laughs> we don't have that information. There's no due date. Yeah. Yeah. All, all I can tell you, Mary Paul, is it's definitely happening. Uh, this I year? Spoke, I believe so. This year, yes. I believe so. And I say I believe so because nothing's ever written on stone, right? It was supposed to open two and a half years ago before the, the pandemic. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I know that they got products approval. I connected Jim Strevelia to one of my guys there that has some really powerful contacts to speed the process. Mm -hmm. What I mean by speed the process is to do things 
uh, legitimately with the proper procedure and everything else uh, and not having people that are going to try to take advantage of an, of an American company. So um, it's, it's all in place. Uh, I believe that we have most of the products approved. And this is the uh, license is already done. So yes. yeah, so they're saying um, uh, June, July, but don't quote. Yeah, quote don't, that, don't but, take but this is your opportunity to start. Right. That's our point. It's start yeah. connecting with your old contacts. Yeah, go ahead, Mary Paul. If we want to do a flyer, which is there something that's already done that we Not can yet, use? No, no, no okay. we don't have we anything. Can make yet. our own. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I for sure, whatever template we have, as you know, we love to share with all of you. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, nothing has been created right now. All I'm doing is I'm building a relationship. And I mean, some of those relationships we haven't spoken in quite a few years. And so I'm, I'm warming them up and we're, we're yeah. warming yeah. up each other kind of things. So that's where I'm at with that. One thing you can do is, is, you know, just creating curiosity. Mexico is coming soon. Yes. No dates. And um, anybody who's interested, you want to get them to contact you. Yeah. The reason is I, if Tommy and I do a flyer, we start promoting this right away. We get everybody panicking a little bit because they don't want to miss the boat and, and, and we're not there yet. Uh, so, but I assure you that it, it'll happen just like we did with Kenya. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to be very respectful to the team. Uh, I find that whenever we do something, um, it comes, it comes with a responsibility and I, I don't want to mislead or get people edgy, uh, when something, you know, when it's, it's not there yet, but it's definitely going to be uh, happening. And I think June and July is very, very, very optimistic because we're already in June. Uh, but we will see. Uh, we will keep everybody posted. You guys will be the first to know. Do we know what's mm -hmm. Go Do ahead, know Sylvie. In Mexico? I'm sorry, I didn't say. Can you repeat? Yeah. Do you know like which, what area of Mexico? Um, no, I, I, there, there, was, there was some mention at one point, but I'm not sure. I mean, I can tell you that Mexico, Palenco, um, Mexico City, uh, you know, there, there's certain areas that are like the Beverly Hills of Mexico is, um, I forgot what the name of the area is called. Polanco. Is, is it Polanco? Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, but, but I, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, Max is not interested in, in spending a lot of resources until we have some, uh, some good leadership in place. Uh, Max, I've learned a lot from, from all of their, um, you know, their expansions and uh, they're learning they're learning a lot so one thing is uh when i spoke to jim is they're, they're looking for some strong leaders and not someone that says yeah i want i want to but they're not willing to lift a finger you know when, when it comes time to deliver so so it's important that we have some um some good leadership in place and uh and if you happen to have that i know i know um uh, jasmine that you're spending some time there i think steve is there too uh, I, I mean, it's time right now to start doing some, uh, some, some webinars, some sessions, gathering, sharing information. I can invite Jim to share. I can enjoy, invite Joe to share. Absolutely, we can do these things. With people that are serious, that have potential, uh, wonderful. Uh, the mom and pops that don't have any experience in this kind of business might be too premature uh, because you know, they, they need the money today and we're not opening today. You know? So uh, but the fact is we are going to be there. So we're, we're looking for the entrepreneurs and the visionaries and the people that we call the influencers uh, that will be uh, more appropriate right now for some Zooms. So they understand the process of being in business and some of the things that we need to, 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 to go through. So hopefully the, the pandemic uh, is not going to come in a way to, to disturb the course of traveling and everything else again. So, mm -hmm. uh, so we're, 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 I'm, we're moving cautiously. Uh, but we're definitely moving forward. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments or feedback? Okay. Okay, guys. Well, the call is recorded. And uh, for those of you that are unable to attend, uh, no worries. You can certainly listen to the recording. And um, if you happen to be here, oh, I see a few more people that join us on Facebook Live. Thank you for joining in. Uh, just post your comments there, feedback. Um, you, we love thumbs up. We love hearts. <laughs> so let us know what we can do to help. And uh, we'll certainly follow through. 
Okay. Especially if you speak Spanish, it's a huge asset. Okay. That's something I do need to brush up on. Okay, everybody. So have yourself a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for attending. And uh, we'll share with you what the next topic will be for next Monday. And we will be back in Canada. Right. Oh, no, actually, we would still be here. We'll still be here. We're leaving on the Wednesday yeah. after the next call. Okay. Yeah. So we'll still be in Florida. Okay, everybody have a great evening. Thank you for attending. And again, happy Victoria Day, Canada. And bye for now. All right. We'll call you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Everyone.